Welcome back, everybody. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. Today, we're going to talk about something that people don't really do a lot, but you will love it once you know how to do it, is just to simply bring in an image to trace around. Now, as you get further and further into your design skills, as you build those skills and as you build your, your level of understanding within not only Fusion, but any other program that does design like this, this is a, called a CAD program, you're going to want to build something that already exists. Let's say you take a car and you want to trace a car. You want to build the actual 3D model of that car as best as you can or anything else, really. You can copy someone's face. You can take a picture of somebody and you can bring it in. You can sculpt their face. This is not the best program for that. There's other programs that are better, but Fusion is great for, let's say, taking actual objects and then you can release it into other environments to do sheet metal fabrication to do some stress testing on whatever thing it is there's lots of videos on that online if you want to look at that now what we're going to do right now is just show you how to bring in a picture it's really simple i'm in the sculpting environment and you can do this in any environment they all have the same option most of them i, I take that back most environments right under insert it should be the default option right here attach canvas but under insert is the first first selection you click that and then what's going to happen is it brings up the regular plane view selection so this tells you again if this is my top here you can see you're on the top right top then that would be the bottom so i'm going to put this image on the side just as a side view i'm going to bring in the fusion 360 logo i'm not going to trace it i'm just going to show you how to bring it in so you can trace it if you have another object if you're in the model view let's say and you have a box already created let's just make a random box you can actually select the side of an object and use it there so you can you can choose any object you want as long as it's a flat surface rounded objects like this like a sphere will not let me uh, just do that they will not let you attach a canvas it won't select here it's highlights here it won't so just a heads up on that so going back to the create form environment the sculpt environment we have this option i'm going to select the side here now this attach canvas dialog box will tell you exactly what's going on next you're going to select the image you won't see my files as they pop up it'll open up a brand new window to find the image you want to bring in so make sure it already exists on your computer it's saved somewhere Organize yourself, make it easy. I'm going to select the Fusion 360 logo. I'm going to click open on my dialog that you can't see because it's on the side of the window right now. And now you see it's popped in here. And if I zoom in, you can see it. And I can look around right now, but it hasn't finalized yet. What you're going to do next is you're going to think about a few things. Do you want this to be movable? If you do want to move it, then you want this selectable box to be checked. If you want this to be locked, where you can't select it anymore, where it's locked in space and time, and it won't disappear, then you deselect it. If you do that and it's not selected, it'll pop up here on the left on the panels under the canvases. You can also select it there. Let me just show you that as an example. Canvases is right there. It popped up by default, unnamed. I can still select it, but I can still move it, actually. But... I can't select it in the window, which means if I do work with the model around it and I select around it, whatever's around it will be selected, but this won't be selected unless I choose it itself. And that little red cross, I'm pretty sure is for what that means. So let me just delete that again. I'll do it one more time. Select the exact same image, make it selectable this time. And then the next options you have are where you want to place it. You can drag it physically. It's dragged only along the plane you select. You notice how there's no X or there's no Z. There is a Z plane where there's no X plane. So only the Y and, and Z plane for me right now. And then you also have the angle you can put it at, which is right here. Really simple stuff. Scaling. You can scale only the X or only the Y. What that really means is not that X as in this actual X. If you look up here on the right, the X here tells you that the X direction goes here, the red line. The green line here is the Y direction. This does not refer to that. This is sort of just a default uh, type inside the dialog box. 
So think of it like this, a new plane, irrelevant of the, of the true plane of the, of the environment. You have the X here and Y, right? Horizontal, vertical. That's what this is for. You can do those individually or do them both. If I want to do five times size, I hit them both. If I want to go back to one and do five times only on X, it stretches it. So you can do all those things. The last thing is you can flip it. The vertical, horizontal, make it work the way you want. Once you have it done, make sure your opacity is set the way you want. This is half clear, which means I can see through it. Half opacity, I can remove a lot of it, or I can make it full opacity where you cannot see through it. I'm going to keep it at 50% just for default reasons. And that's really it. And now I can't select it. It's, or I can select it. Right now I can't. But either way, I can now take this, let's say this plane, and I can actually, I can do this as just as an example, make a face, and I can just trace around. Just to show you what I did, in case you're wondering, under the Create and Sculpt environment, under the Create, this is not sketching. Sketching will not give you a sculpting form. Sketching will give you a model form. It is not sculptable. Under Face, this is how you draw your own T-spline. Select your plane. If I did this, then that's what that does. I can do more. If I think about what I'm doing here, one, two, three, four. Only does four. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't use this very much. So you have four options. Either way, that's how you insert a picture. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.